I brought you this video the other day, which was showing you how to get the new touch controls early for Minecraft Pocket Edition in version 1.19.0. Now, in that video, you had to mess around with a bunch of file managers, change numbers, etc. It was quite confusing to some of you. So today in this video, I bring you a pack that gives you the new touch controls via the click of one button. First thing I want to mention is that this is fully functional for Minecraft Pocket Edition on iOS and Android. So let's get into this. You'll notice in settings and you'll notice in touch, I don't have the new touch controls. They're usually at the top, but I clearly don't have them right now. Just going to quickly go into a game and show you. So you can clearly see that I have the generic touch controls that we've had literally forever. Jump, crouch, you've got forward, backwards, left, right, you get the idea. If I also go in settings and we go into touch controls, like last time, I do not have these new buttons. There will be a link down below to the official page that you need to go to, but head over to mcbedrock.com, tap on textures. Once you're on textures, scroll down. Until you see .mc pack, tap on .mc pack. Scroll down once again until you see the one at the top which says MCP slash bedrock new touch controls early. Tap on this. Scroll down once again. Head over to the bottom. Creator of this is .mc. I'll leave a link down below as to where you can check them out. And there will be a media fire link which is new underscore touch underscore controls .mc pack. Tap on this. Now what you want to do is wait for the download to be done. When you tap on open, it might instantly give you the option to open in Minecraft. If it does, make sure you open it in Minecraft. If it doesn't, no problem. I'm going to use easy zip viewer. So it looks like this might say dot zip. And if it does say dot zip, you're going to have to make one change. So I'm just going to go to downloads here. We're going to find this. It says, there you go, new touch controls here. So we need to tap on this. We need to rename this. Get rid of the dot zip. Make sure it says just .mc pack and then click done. I don't know why it does that all the time on Android and iOS, but it does. And then tap on the actual download, which is going to be this one, right? We're going to be tapping on this one. So we're going to tap on it. It should instantly open in Minecraft. And that is all you need to do. To make sure it's successfully installed, we're just going to allow this. It should say start to import at the top. Just going to do this in real time. Successfully imported new touch control. So go to your settings. Then scroll down until you get global resources. Go on my packs. It's it's literally right there. The creator, right there. Created by DocMC, code by TLGM2308. Credit goes to them. You're simply going to activate this. Make sure it's active. Back out. Let the pack reload. Head into game. Now, if we go to settings now, actually, and we go to touch, the controls are there. You can literally just enable it. So yeah, it's that simple to do. You can keep it as touch, cross it, or classic. We'll start off with classic for now. We're just gonna head back to the game that we were previously in. And we're gonna change it when we're in game. Once you're in game, tap on options, tap on settings, tap on touch, and just change it. You can change it to touch, which there you go. You can see our, my recommendation right here would be to scroll down, go to touch and make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go to like 71 here. So this is still a work in progress. Now, currently these controls do have the old joystick, okay? That's gonna change. It's kind of like a square one now, which will be introduced, but you can mess around with these early. Again, they are still currently a work in progress, which is why we don't have access to these. So these are very similar to the touch controls we already have. I know they're not perfect. Um, again, so this is jump and fly, and this one is crouch and go down, and this button, which is this one just lets you auto sprint as well as you guys can see. It's also pretty cool as well because you can see the buttons when you're in water, they have a change of symbol. Again, these are the simplified controls. If we head into options and settings, we head back to touch, you can change these to crosshair, which what I would consider a little bit more complex. Again, same ability to just auto sprint there, but you'll notice that you, you're not touching the screen to attack. There's actually a button to attack. So you can attack the pig with this. You've also got this one, which would be to place your blocks. So if we grab ourselves, say this, you can tap to place. This is to break place. You get the idea here. So 
These are a little bit more complex. Apart, basically, you're given two extra buttons here. Of course, the, the original ones have sprint, they have jump, they have crouch. This one now has attack, and it also has place as well. And it's that simple. Now, if you don't like these, no problem. Head over to inside of here, head over to touch, disable them, and you're back to the original controls. So, yeah. The Minecraft development team might not have added them, but the Minecraft community has. Anyway, have a wonderful day. See you all in the next video. Thank you.